All right, cool. We're live and beautiful. Again, speak for yourself. I am... I'm only one of those things at any given time, and I'm not sure which one. That's for you to decide. This really is like your personal customizable experience. We are whatever you want us to be. It's true. Except that we won't be that. And whatever that is, is whatever you want it to be. Except for that. Except for that. So, where did we leave off exactly? Boss level. Level three. Ah. Uh, okay, yeah, I remember. It was a. It was that big dude that went invisible, right? It's like the. No, that one. That one killed me. And oh. this is the run after that. I see. Where I have much better stuff to use. Goes to show you how shot my memory is. Hmm. I don't know what the boss of this level is going to be, but I'm going to guess, based on the map, that it's going to be a prism droid. I see. And a big one at that. I don't know what that is, but I believe in you. You're still rocking a chain gun. Like you do. And you still jolt your electricity when you move. And I still know where all the fucking secrets are in this level. Well, that's good. Because this whole level might as well be a secret to me. Oh yeah, they mentioned in the patch notes that they zoomed the whole game in slightly. And that's why everything is so much clearer now. Hmm. And I do appreciate that. That's an interesting change. Because one of the complaints... Hmm? One of the complaints what? One of the complaints that I had was that the game was zoomed out too much and you could barely see anything. It seems interesting to me that that would be a change to be made now. It's kind of like a pretty baseline aesthetic choice, right? Hmm? Yes and no, I would say. Because on the one hand... Like, yeah, it kind of comes with this style of game, but on the other hand, it's something that you do kind of have to dial in. Let me ask you, did they also add an ability to, like, did they add a slider for it? That allows you to change the position yourself? Let's see. Uh... Thresher speed, aim speed... No. But what they did add is the ability to enable and disable the minimap, which they also added in that patch. Hmm. One step forward, two steps back. I will notice that the walkways that you're walking on were, like, directly lifted from Tron. Did you ever see Tron? Uh, a long time ago. Do you recall... Very long time ago. The, um... Do you recall the disc-based, like, mini-game that they played? Where if you hit the sides of the four, then sections of it would fall away? I think so. It was all made of light bridges, and if you hit it with the disc, it would just disappear and you would fall. Hmm. Stakes have never been higher than this. Man, I got hit by one of my own reflected bullets, and it gave me radiation, which is now permanently draining my health, because that's how that works. And that's kind of not great. I'm probably going to die. Uh, that's unfortunate. Because well, I'm just constantly losing health. Now, if you do die, does that go away on your respawn? Yes, because it'll be a new run, because I'll be dead. Hmm. But on the other hand, if you make it all the way through, it'll be that much more impressive. And it'll be gone. Yes. But you'll have the bragging reward to, like, back up your feet. 
Yeah. But the way I see it, I've got... Oh, that's good. That's very convenient. Oh, it went away. Okay. I'm good with that. So it's not eternal. It's just very long. On enemies, it's eternal. Maybe picking up that healing buff got rid of it. That healing item. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Curiouser and curiouser. A riddle wrapped in an enigma. Wrapped in a bacon shell. And deep fried. That I'll doesn't even make me hungry, honestly. That just sounds horrible. I wasted about four hours of my life this morning making another um, making another mashup between yeah. Alicia Keys' New York, uh, Adventure Times making bacon pancakes, and uh, a Citizen Cope song that I sent you early in the morning. Yeah, I remember the one. It was very time consuming, and I ended up deleting the whole thing but it was worth it because, well, the album art that came along with it was probably the hardest I've worked on, like, any one of those individual album arts in a long time. And it was also probably the one that looked the worst. What the hell keeps hitting me? Were there, like, bear traps or something? No, but I did just get radiation again. At least I'm definitely time. gonna die this time. It's like you've been poisoned in a Pokemon game. Except it lasts forever. I mean, it lasts forever in Pokemon too until you heal it. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. It's gonna happen. Here it comes. Although I suppose not in the new ones. It always used to. Something I would like to point out for those of you that are unaware is that, how do I put this? Enemies cannot give you radiation status. I was getting radiation status from my own bullets being reflected off of those guys' shields. And that's what killed me. This right here is the reason why supposedly only Jedi can use lightsabers. Because anybody can just pick up a lightsaber, but if you don't have preternatural abilities stopping you from chopping your own arm off, you're going to chop your own arm off. Hmm. Also, that's apparently no longer true. Supposedly, anybody can just pick one up. I don't even know anymore. It's been contradicted so many times. Who fucking cares? That's what I say. Nobody. Nobody cares anymore. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We'll get plenty into Star Wars lore later. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, let's give this another go. By all means. Hey, you've got 20% luck. Oh, but you've also got negative 11 luck. So, hmm. Sequencing. Pallier roots. That's crap. When am I ever in water? Never. What's next? What do we got next? Mutation detected. Your skull shifts beneath your scalp, bone softening and giving way as newly sprouted antenna force their way up and out of the top of your head. New senses flood your body as you begin to pick up on microscopic changes in the air, allowing you to focus on targets in ways previously unimaginable. 100% ac well, 100 accuracy when standing still. I keep reading those as percents, but they're not percents. No. Plus 40 health. Yes. Oh good, more stamina. It's a and good thing. And the fuel tank strand is unstable now, so it'll be gone the next run. Oh. I was... I was hoping to triple my luck and not have that happen, but... I want to point out how disturbing it was last time to have the fuel tank just, like, on your body. And now the idea that it's unstable and falling off is somehow even worse. Also, the idea that you have...
antenna sprouting out of your broken skull and that somehow makes you healthier is kind of amazing. Hey, you haven't even seen the robot horns yet. I have not seen the robot horns yet. Oh god. Look at my fucking bell-bottom pants. They're horrible. I love bell-bottoms. What are you talking about? You look like a Mega Man character. Eh, when you put it that way, it's not so bad. You kind of look like a yellow Proto Man. With, like, your edgy armband bone thing. And a yeah. big dumb gun. Or is that X? I don't know. To me, it's like... I think it is X. Like, it's with the ponytail X. and everything, it's definitely X. Alright. Because, like, I, I know the different names, but I feel like there's Mega Man, there's Bad Box Art Mega Man, there's <laughs> 80s Cartoon Mega Man, then there's X and Proto Man, and then there's the Proto Men, and that's all I know. That's all you really need to know. Is it sufficient to say located. that I'm not so much a Mega Man fan, but that I'm a fan of bad box art Mega Man and a big fan of the Proto Men? Is yeah. That, is that, that works, right? That works. I'm gonna stick with that. I tried playing those Mega Man games. I'm real bad at them. I'm not good at them. Oh enough. yeah, me too. Yeah, no, totally. Fucking terrible, Adam. I like the deliberate nature, but I'm deliberately terrible. Okay, something made that laser barrier drop. I don't know what I did, but I must have done something. Hmm. You want to see a horrible zone? Here we go. Oh, never mind. No. We don't get to see a horrible zone because I don't have acid to open this with. I don't know. Whatever that thing is, it looks pretty horrible. Are you sure you're not on acid? I ask myself that every day, honestly. Maybe these gates go down when you damage them. Usually they're connected to some kind of generator. Hmm. Maybe it was right on the other side and it blew up when that guy died. Well, he did leave like a acid bath splash, right? Hmm, maybe. Maybe the acid bath splash, like... Yeah, maybe away. it had an AoE effect on it. This is the best I've got. The best I've got is I don't care anymore. You know what? That'll get you pretty far. Oh, I know. This mini-map is nice. It means I don't have to check the map as compulsively anymore. That's good. I gotta be honest. Looking at this gameplay, kind of like this modular looking orange and black area really makes me want to go back and play uh, Phantom Pain. Mm. Fuck or those shield guys, they killed me last time. Hmm. When I think of shield enemies, I think of droidicas. And I don't want to deal with droidicas right now. Hmm. But we'll be seeing a lot of those. I got a Tesla drone. That's cool, I guess. I think every incarnation of those things showing up has always been the most infuriating enemy type. Except maybe in Lego Star Wars. Where everything is easy. That'll do it. Did we just make a circle? I'm not sure how you mean. Like, did we just... No, I think we just went down an elevator. I took an elevator. Okay, this is... Yeah, no, that was like a... What do you call it? Like a sub-zone. I see. Like a cave in Zelda. This kind of looks like it's filled with uh, Nickelodeon Gak. Yeah, kind of. Except yellow. 
And it hurts you. Yeah. Yellow green. You know that stuff used oh, to God. be like pudding? Really? Yeah, when Nick Cannon would just say, hey kid, stand underneath this geyser, and then they would, you know, shoot them with geysers of green goo on live television. Uh, uh huh. So that goo would basically just be like banana pudding. Huh. And on one hand, I have to imagine, man, that must be really cool, because banana pudding rocks. But on the other hand, I wonder, what if those kids had, like, a banana allergy or something? You think they they probably cleared it beforehand. That's a fucking PR nightmare waiting to happen. But I wonder if they did, like, back in the early 90s. Hmm. You make a good point. I feel like at least one kid probably... Probably didn't. Hush money was probably involved. Hey. Spongebob can make you a lot of hush money. Yeah. Huh, what do you know? A sonic weapon that doesn't suck. Don't ask me how I know that. Oh boy, this ought to be good. <laughs> you know, those things remind me of, uh, Helper. Yeah, I could see that. They should, but these guys even more so because they're blue. They should be... Yep, there it is. They should be making the, like, beep-peep noises as they run at you. God, I wish. They're dumb little propeller hats. <laughs> Helper's the fucking best. He is. And I'm still kind of upset that we're never going to get that Venture Brothers, like, Telltale-style game. God, imagine... We got Poker Night, but it's not really the same. No, it's not. Unless somebody knows of a mod out there to just make four Brock Samsons play poker and not have to deal with Penny Arcade characters. That's probably a mod, like, for real. I would hope so. Because, like, there's Sam and Max, or whichever one is in the game, I don't know the difference between those two. I just know that Sam and Max is well loved. And then you have the Heavy. And then you have Brock Samson. And then you have Tycho. You, you also have Claptrap and GLaDOS. Mm. One of those is great. This item is actually terrible because it's gimping my stamina. Okay, what does this one do? It gimps my stamina, but increases my speed. Hmm. I thought I would like to speed up, but stamina is actually really important for me. And you can't toss it away yet? I can. If I can stop picking it up for two seconds. What have we here? Pyro pistol. No. Gotta melt that. How ironic. <clears throat> oh no, for a second I thought it just died. Nah, loading screen. So your name in this game is Freya. Are you yep. male, female, or is it... Female. Ah. Explicitly female. Okay. Because I was like, Freya could be taken either way. Maybe that's intentional. I don't think so. Freya is the name of a goddess. True. But, I feel like I've met very deliberately male characters with pretty feminine names before. I mean, maybe... But I think Freya is pretty, like, non-ambiguous. I like it. God, fuck off! Die! And now see, those things look like they do turn invisible, as opposed to the big one where you could just see it. Yeah, well, the reason you can see the big one is because it's big. I see. And, like, aside from that, they're pretty much the same. You would hope that, like... The increased mass and power would it would be like 
exponentially applied to its invisibility factor, like it would become even more invisible. That's I, one way to look at it. I get that that's not how it works, but it's how I wish it worked. Befriend drone with an assault rifle. Cool. Hmm. I get the feeling this is going to be a drone run. Yeah, I mean, you've already got the two. You've got Tattle and Tail there. Yep. And you don't have to deal with any time mechanics. They're just there. Would that everything was that simple. This is the fastest run of Majora's Mask I've ever seen. Except for that one where it was haunted. Does that count as a speed run? I don't know. Because on one hand, they got to the end of the game real fast. But on the other hand, the creepypasta lasted like 11 years or some shit. I'm not even speed sure that run. it ever ended. Speed run to have your speed run forgotten about the fastest. Hmm. Speed run into the gates of hell. It's like doing a floor skip, only instead of landing in another level, you land like straight into your own grave. Someone's gonna have to tell me about that skip. You just hit, uh... What? What? Well, games don't have cheat codes anymore, right? So it would they have don't. to be some kind of exploit. They don't have cheat codes, or they try to sell them to you. See, that's where it's really gonna come in. That's the next layer of, like, video game dystopia. Is that instead of selling you, like, cheat codes... They're just gonna sell you the like the video game equivalent to uh, the Futurama uh, suicide booth as DLC. If you want to start a new game, you have to buy you have to buy the ability to overwrite your save as DLC. You can floor skip into your own grave, but you'll have to pay the fourteen ninety nine expansion pass to do it. It's gonna fucking cost you. You'll have to get the founders pack if you want to skip straight to suicide. If you want weapons to deal self-damage, you have to pay the price. And that Let's... price will fluctuate based on market value. Hive swarm. Garbage. Soured veins. Garbage. For this run. I see. This is good. More crit is nice. Always down for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was expecting that one to explode as well. I've got 185 crit. Which is, I don't know, probably a lot. You're starting to look like a common rider. Yeah, kinda. And that's the other thing that bugged me about the camera perspective. It's like, this character model looks really cool. I wish I could see it a bit more clearly. But I guess that's what that screen is for. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be shit. Maybe. Or maybe you've just landed in, like, an incredibly fortuitous situation and you just don't know it yet. I guess it depends on what they drop. Exactly. Oh, that thing is a droidica. Except I guess it's not spinning around. No, but it does explode though. It explodes and drops bad DNA. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Ain't nothing here that I want. The camera is just like subtly zooming in when you don't do anything, I think. That or I'm having a conniption. Oh, extra speed. Ooh. Uh, it zooms in based on where you are also. 
Like different tiles in different areas have different zoom values. So if you're in a big open space, it'll zoom out so you can see it. And that kind of thing. I'll take it over a conniption. Gives me conniptions. Can you fall off of that elevator? Yeah. Damn. I could see myself doing that almost every time. Mm. Seventy-five percent of secrets is not so bad. Yeah, considering. Considering everything is random and there's no way to know for sure. Eh, these games are never really as random as you think they are. No. But random enough. Random enough that you're not going to be able to get them all every time. But if you're on a certain... Oh boy. If you're on a certain tile, you can be like, Okay, I know that might be here or it might be here. It can only be a certain number of things. Yep. Instead of having one place to check, you have a few places. Yeah. What's this? You're always going to be passing, like, the same general construction over and over again. Just in different uh, layouts. Hmm. Standard water tanks equipped to all long-distance Shradaku interstellar spacecraft. In transit, the tanks are equipped to provide water to a full crew for a period of three months. Once in atmosphere, they can be attached to a reclaimer unit to recapture moisture from the air, prolonging the availability of water indefinitely. My mother supply. It tastes like... blood. Like wire. Okay, though, for drinking. You trust the bad taste more than the water you get from the place the place where the animals drink it's clean safe to rely on there's a typo in there yes it is that's a typo you know what that's about as fortuitous as shit gets i'll take that yeah fucking rocket launcher from on high would it be more or less fortuitous as a mini launcher than if it was just a launcher. Yes. It's all situational. It's a matter of perspective, really. From my perspective, it's the Jedi who are evil. Oh no, we're not doing this. You get the fuck out of here. It's kind of turning into like a little bullet hell section. Only not so much anymore now that half of them are dead. Yeah, I tend to have that effect on people. I imagine it comes in handy in situations like these. Yeah. Never once ran into a bullet hell I wasn't prepared for. That's right. And that's the attitude you need to keep. This thing, it, it's kind of like Helper mixed with the, uh, the loading gear from Aliens. Yeah, kinda. It's like its entire top half is like a loader bot or like a, like a heavy pallet. The thing that I really like about these guys that you can't really see so well without getting a good look at them is they don't have heads. Their heads are holograms. Oh. That's really cool. Yeah, look at that guy. Now that looks like it came out of Tron. Totally. I think that kicks ass. I like that his head is a Harry Potter. Yeah. Now you're getting it. Guy looks like Samuel Hayden after he lost. And boy did he. Ugh. Spoilers, I guess, for the end of Doom. The demons and bad guys die. Who would have thought? Not even the ending, really. That's good. 
I'm glad that there's more there. That game isn't very good, though. No. I mean, it's all right. It's not as good. Not as good as the first? Not as good as Doom 4. Ah, it's unfortunate. I think they got a little too complacent, and that's what ruined it. I... So, I should point out, I still have not played Doom Eternal, and most of it was because I was kind of getting that feeling. It was just a little bit too high budget and big on the advertising for me to be like, yeah, this is going to be like recapturing the same magic, you know? And not only that, but like Doom 4 felt like it had something to prove. Yes. It was very much an uphill battle. And then you get to Doom Eternal and they're like, okay, people like us. Let's and then Doom Eternal happened. They were a little too aware of their own acclaim, and I think the product suffered, suffered for it. That makes sense. Yeah, that's totally what happened, I think. I'll tell you what, though. Nothing is ever going to stop Doom 2016 from being, like, one of the best games that came out in that decade. Mm-hmm. It's just a shame they couldn't make it two for two. Yeah, but on the other hand, Wolfenstein also did come out that same year. Well, not that same year, but I, I consider those two, like, kind of I mean, brother and sister games. Yeah, yeah. The two of them together kind of revitalized the FPS genre. And then they went back and fucked it up again. Well, that's Bethesda for you. Yeah. That's not, that's not Doom's fault. It's not Wolfenstein's I mean, fault. I mean, it kind of is Doom's fault in a way. Because a lot of the things that are wrong with that game have to do with it leaning on classic homages. Yeah, that's fair. Do you ever get to find out what happened to Daisy the Rabbit? I mean, did you not know? Does nothing else happen? Is that, like... Daisy the Rabbit doesn't come back as, like, a giant mechanical Daisy the Rabbit. Like that no. one that number three has. Imagine imagine the final level in Doom 2020 or 2019 or whatever. And Daisy the Rabbit gets, like, brought back as a gigantic mechanical beast that you get to ride into battle. And kill some of those giant demons that are always in the skybox. They don't do that. The icon of rabbit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what I said. What, I stutter? That's unfortunate. Yeah. So what? this thing's kind of like a big old fuck you button. Oh, yeah. This is, it's just a go away button. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Sometimes shit just blow up and it be like that. It was like a flare. It was like a button that just shot off a bunch of flares. Way to miss both of them, idiot. No. Oh, okay. Now I see what's going on. It was, uh, the little Metroids clamping to you and exploding. Yep. Quill Spear. Like a Needler? Kind of? No. The rot spore needles are more like needlers. Hmm. Because they stick in targets and then explode. Okay. I like that. That's all I ask for. I'm a man of simple yeah. taste. If I see something like that, I'll be sure to pick it up. I see needles go into something and explode. I clap. I don't need more than that. 
Where the fuck am I and what's happening? Hey man, you and me both. I woke up like this. I wake up like that every day. The difference between you and me is that I make this look good. Damn. Okay. I feel like... Ah, here we go. I'm having some sort of existential crisis or, like, mental breakdown here because... Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen The Matrix all the way through? Long time ago. Well, you know that the end of The Matrix, it, it ends on Rage Against the Machine. Like, the end credits are, are Wake Up, right? Uh-huh. For some reason, in my head, I pictured the end of, of Men in Black with him putting on the sunglasses and just cutting to Rage Against the Machine, which is not how that movie ends. Boy, is it not. And then I thought... Oh, God. Well, what it, isn't that how... Like, shouldn't most movies end that way? And my mind flashed back to Return of the King, where Frodo and Sam are on the side of Mount Doom and everything's exploding and they're all gonna die from heat exhaustion. And then it just cuts to Rage Against the Machine as Gandalf flies in on his eagles, and I'm like, no, that's not how that movie ends either. But it should. It should. Hello, what have we here? Oh man, you get to the end of Kill Bill 1, and you get that shot of Beatrix Kiddo looking down on her victim from inside the tree, uh, inside the, the trunk of the car, and she's like, I'm gonna kill Bill. She shuts the door, oh, da, 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 da. just cuts the rage against the machine. Already sounds like a better movie. And that's fucking saying something. That's saying something. Oh, man. I'm desperately trying to remember how Toy Story 1 ends in my head. Oh, God. I don't know either. That's fucked up. Why don't I know? I'm just picturing... I got a better idea. Think of the climax of Toy Story 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're like climbing their way out of the gravel pit and you've just got Zack De La Rocha screaming like, Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh! Oh, man. I don't know how many hours it's been since we started talking about Rage Against the Machine. It's only it been feels about... like both too many and not enough. It's true. I'm looking down at the timer and it's been about 10, 12 minutes-ish. That is entirely too many hours. And also not enough. I just kind of want to, like, grab all of the DVDs that I own and just dub over all of the end credits with Rage. And see which ones I can get away with posting on YouTube. Because obviously all of them are going to be an improvement. Yeah. Every single one. Except the Matrix. I'll change the Matrix to, uh... I don't know, what should we change it to? Fucking fly me to the moon. It works. I'm not gonna it say does. that doesn't work. You could tell me that the Matrix and Evangelion exist in the same universe, and I could believe it. Where's this fucking key? I don't know what to tell you. I didn't pick it up, did I? Um... I don't see anything on you. I picked something up. Let's see. Yep, I'm stupid. I totally picked up the key. Hmm. Let's see. Why? Another drone. 
Or... Okay, I know what that drone does. I don't know what this drone does. I think it's a hack drone. I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. Yep, it's a hack drone. Oh no. Now you've done it. Whatever you've done, now it's been done, and you have done it. There's... What the hell? I don't know. I've never seen... I've never seen one of those things just leave. That's it's, weird to me. It saw you having three drones, and it just decided, no, I'm good. I think it's because I mind-controlled every other enemy that it could have healed, so it just left. Mmm. Now that's I like stand. that idea. So how do I get up there? One of these Can plants, I... probably? Ah, uh, no. Wait, wait. Yeah, here we go. It was one of the plants. This game is a weird mix of, like, intense and also kind of chill. Yeah. Like, it has that intensity when the action picks up, but everything in regards to its presentation is all pretty, like, even and measured and laid back. And the music I kinda... definitely don't feel tense when I play it. Yeah, it, it promotes relaxation, but also, like, engaging play. There is a lot about this game that I like. A lot. It's got a strong visual presentation, I will say that. And I do like the sound design. It needs work in places, but that's mostly a polished thing, and for the most part, I do like it a lot. Yeah. These types of games are not usually my thing, but this one does look pretty cool. I can understand getting into, like, loops and loops of this game. Yeah? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, we didn't get to see the boss last time because I fucking died. Oh, no. So my prediction was rendered completely irrelevant. These things are awful. They aren't great. Oh, that one's even worse. Now, these guys... Not so much the big purple one. The purple one reminds me... Oh, what the fuck? that thing I was gonna say the purple one oh man it doesn't even matter anymore I'm just trying to comprehend what I'm looking at yeah this guy this guy right here he looks like he come he looks like a SpongeBob like dealio he's hanging out in jellyfish fields in the background yeah and those armored ones kind of remind me of the uh, copperhead snake worm things in prototype. The hydras. Yeah. Man, there's like nothing about that game that I couldn't tell you. It's actually kind of fucked up. That's fine. We'll get to that. Oh, we will. I promised you that. It's still one of my favorite games of all time. Fuck. Oh no, it just... It just poofed out of existence. I saw that. It bamfed even. Oh, I'm out of grenades. That's not ideal. This looks like a slightly more child-friendly version of, like, one of those 
destiny raid bosses. Hmm, I wouldn't know. Well, I mean, we only fought like 40 of them. You did. I didn't. You were there for some of those. You're not oh, this thing much. is just stuck now. No, I know that. That's why I'm not doing it. Oh, boy. This thing is straight up bugged. Oh, there we go. So what is that? Because it looks like a Darth Maul blade. It is a Tron disc. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Alternately, a Captain America shield. I think it's closer to a Tron disc because it slices through stuff. If Captain America wasn't such a coward, his shield would do that too. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, he could throw it hard enough. I'm sure he could do it. But he doesn't. Because he believes in America or whatever. You would think truth, justice, and the American way, but that's Superman's thing. And you would think truth, justice, and the American way, but that would pretty much just equate to killing people anyway. Like, truth, justice, and the American way is Superman's thing? But, like, why would Superman care about the American way? It's almost as if he was written by a certain kind of person. It's almost like that should be attributed to Captain America. Two different universes, though, to be fair. Yeah, but... God, this is taking forever! I mean, yeah, but you're doing it. You're 75% of the way there. I believe in you is the important part. Believe in the you that believes in me that believes in the bio lizard. I mean, I believe in the bio lizard and supporting him, but it kind of seems like this worm dude only has the one move, which is just to sneeze and like shoot out quills. Like, it's oh, can I get a better weapon? I mean, go for it. Let's see. Yes, I can. What is it? What does it do? It's Ooh. a shotgun. It's a riot shotgun. And dead. Nice. And that's what you get for touching that. Fucking game was like, yeah, okay, we'll do you a solid on this one. Sorry, we may have made that last 40 minutes. We're going to give you a pass on this one. That may have lasted an inordinate amount of time. We're sorry. Please Here's don't shotgun. tell the others. Please accept this token of our apology. Could you imagine if you went back to, like, fucking, I don't know, fucking Best Buy? Do those still exist? Yeah. Not the point. Yes. You go to, you go to Best Buy and you return, like, a hard drive that doesn't work. And they're like, we're sorry. Please accept this token of our apology. And they hand you a fucking taser. Here's a riot shotgun. Please don't tell Circuit City what happened. <laughs> now that's what I call hush money. And then you're like, yeah, but wait, Circuit City doesn't exist anymore. And they're like, well, that's what the riot shotgun's for. No one's going to ask you what happened. People are going to see the shotgun and they're going to, like, they're going to move away, I think. Speaking of moving away, I looked away for maybe a minute or two. And now, what what is this with the, with the glowing wired fencing? Subterranean hazardous waste disposal, if I had to guess. Uh-huh. Something along those lines. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. You know what you did. I'm questioning, like, the efficacy of having these wire mesh fences and only having them on, like, 10% of the total landmass. Well, don't. You know what? That, Sold. That thing that, 
You know that thing you're doing? Stop doing it. That thing where I'm trying to think about it and it's not making any sense? You're doing it wrong. Alright. That's not- that's not the design here. That's not the point. It's not what I was hired on for. It decidedly was not. We don't pay you to think about these things. Always with the vomiting acid. I feel like we've seen this guy a lot. Don't you have any other tricks up your sleeve? Not Always up my with sleeve. the fucking bugs in the acid. Oh look, more acid bugs. Yeah, no. We're, we're seeing a lot of acid bugs. Can't lie. Man, I thought about, like, sending the developers of this game one of our VODs. And I'm like, no matter how many times I say on stream that I like the game, I don't know if that's going to get across. Well, but I do like the game a lot. No, it's I wouldn't be really playing nice. it if I didn't. Let me tell you, after being roped into playing a bunch of these types of games, this is probably the coolest looking one that I've seen. And we had that one. What, what was the one we played Risk of Rain 2? Yeah. And Risk of Rain 2 was pretty fun, but I think the music was the most cohesive part of it. This kind of feels a little bit more put together, I guess. It, it at least has the feeling of like a ton more content in it. At least from what I can see. It... I think it has less content, actually. But what's there is more... There's more of a design to it, I would say. It feels like there's more variation moment to moment and like a broader gameplay loop. That's true. I think a lot of that has to do with the level design. Yeah. And again... Because like, you load into a level and you have a to-do list. You have a bunch of locations to visit, stuff to find, items on your itinerary to clear out. Yeah, it's mission-based. In a way, yeah. And then, on the other hand, it's just... I will always say that I really appreciate the sense of verticality in pretty much any game. And this game definitely has that. I will say that Risk of Rain 2 also gets pretty vertical. It's not quite so sheer as this game. There's not so many sheer drops, but it's there. I'll tell you what. This game has a lot more bones. Like, a lot more bones. Not untrue. You ever take and a, a lot more to, raptors on top of that. You ever take a moment to, like, sit back and think, okay, if this entire thing is like a rib cage, it stands to reason that the entire thing might have once been more than that, right? Like, the... Uh-huh. So what did that look like? Jormungandr, obviously. Yeah. The world serpent. Big snake. Big, big, big snake. snake. <laughs> Man, I feel like you could go into any literary historian's, like, place of employment or, like, a lecture hall and just ask them about Jormungandr and be like, yeah, big snake. Big, big snake. Yeah. Honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't small. It... No, 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 no. The remains of a triteraptor ensnared by the coiling arms of a rotvine plant. All moisture has been drained from the corpse, giving it a leathery, almost mummified appearance. It's unclear how long it's lain here. Freya's, Freya's notes. notes. The plants try to trick us. They sleep when we wake, and when we sleep, they approach. Embracing those young or foolish enough to slumber amongst the foliage, slipping around them again and again until it is too late. They wake and struggle, and dragging the barbs ever deeper into themselves. Then the plants drink. Damn. Metal. Metal. And it's got bones in it, too. 
Hey, you mentioned Droidicus? I did. Oh yeah, that thing's a Droidica. It's a shieldless Droidica. Which makes it a lot less annoying to have to kill. Except, guess what? They're invulnerable when they're rolling, so... Damn it! Yeah, no! Try again next time! Roger, roger. And then you see this exclamation point that just says slime pollution for the whole thing. I feel like I didn't need that pointed out to me. Like, yes, I know. I woke up like this. Every day. And we got more Nightkin. Yeah. Night Stalkers. Night Stalkers. Damn it. I gotta... I gotta brush up on my, uh... You gotta work out. on your... Your fucking trivia. It's true. I've got two oh, modes yeah. of Fallout trivia. And it's like, man, remember those claymation faces? And remember how I didn't like New Vegas very much? And everyone got real mad. What do I do here? Not that. There's gotta be a spot to... Look for a plant. Where will this put me? Uh-oh. See? Look for a plant. I got, I got excited for a second there. I really thought that thing was just going to drop you straight into the pit again. Get fucking dunked, idiot. Honestly, I feel like whenever you're lost in this game, a pretty safe bet is just plant. Time for plant. Time for plant. Oh, man, but there's stuff over there. I gotta figure out how to get over there. Can you go back on the plant? It sends you in a direction, and that's it. And I oh see. boy, is it. <clears throat> what if I go this way? Uh, 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 it's uh. like you're in a canyon of mellow yellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God. that's how we do it. That one's Fuck got, you. Mm, I don't like the look of that thing. I well, it's it doesn't dead matter now. anymore, yeah. The soft, rubbery cap of the Paleofungus. Despite the unusual purplish pigment, the cap is considered wholly suitable for human consumption and indeed presents a host of nutritious benefits to those that eat it. For his notes, eating plant life Unnatural, but starving, so needed. Keep energy up to catch real meat. Tear real flesh. Rely on the ground for nothing. Real food breathes. Real food bleeds. Jeez. This is a bit much. You're not eating food. You're eating the stuff that food eats. My food isn't real unless it bleeds. Do you bleed? What happened to my family? Family, family. Uh, well, they 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 were, you know, they were breathing, thus bleeding, thus edible. It's a self-sustaining cycle. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But I want those items. God damn it. Hey, I'm I'm in here for the long haul. You go find those items. I'll find those items or find that my patience has run out. You gotta be like emeralds and f God, fuck me. You gotta be like Knuckles and find those emeralds. Emeralds the Echidna is a way better name. Uh, give me the items though, is the thing, you know? Give me the egg. I require oh. the egg. Well, that I'll didn't always, work. <clears throat> I'll always think of... I'll always think of the edible item in Deadly Premonition that's just a jar of pickles and the label just says the, the pickles. pickles. In, in all lowercase comic sense. It's true. You stuffed your face. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that game. It's pretty fantastic. This is going nowhere. 
I can't and I'm wait wasting to play a lot of health. I gotta tell you, not only can I not wait for the sequel, but you know that I have a very, very deep and intense love for Twin Peaks and all things Twin mm -hmm. Peaks. Alan Wake and Deadly Premonition are, and a little bit of Life is Strange, are like the trifecta of perfect Twin Peaks games that we otherwise never would have gotten. Mm. I, I can't let this go. I cannot. It's all right. You just, you keep doing your thing. And after a while, we'll bring in like the Jeopardy music or maybe the Chocobo theme. Which is basically the same thing when you think about it. There's very little difference. Man, I would watch so much more Jeopardy if everybody just played the Chocobo theme while they were trying to think. And everybody's getting really mad and stressed out. Oh, that was a lucky save, that. Come on, there has to be a way. What do you want from me? It's like a Pink Floyd song. You're just jumping and floating endlessly into a void of yellow haze. On plants of purple and maroon and pink and lavender. How do I get to where I'm going? God damn it! Can't help you. Go I got away. nothing for you. Maybe if you bad keep enough. jumping around in circles long enough, the game will feel bad enough that it'll just give it to you. It worked last time. That's true. And there's nothing in this level except for this stuff. That's it. This makes me really want to stand on a giant geyser. You and me both. That looks fun and refreshing and really dangerous. As all things in life that are worth doing are. It's true. Damn it! Well, I got to see it that time at least. What the hell? When you did that, like, double rolling jump thing, it looked like, uh, the floating boots from Zelda. You're super not supposed to be able to do that. I bet, because it looked terrible. I mean, it Maybe looked cool, I... but... Damn it! I give up! I'm gonna die if I keep doing this. I know. I know I feel it. cheated. You know it. Everybody knows it. Oh. Can I go this way? What's over here? Have I been here? Oh, I'll tell you what's over here. Fucking dick. Great. Nothing. Good day, sir. I said good day. Why am I doing this? Can you go? I thought mm. I thought maybe I could control it that time. I don't know. Uh, maybe if you no, hit... No, that's elevated. But there's a geyser up there. Maybe if you hit, like, the secret button combination, the geyser will go backwards and shoot you down through the earth. I can see a waypoint. I just can't see any way to get to the waypoint. And that is the fucking worst in any game. Wait, uh, turn, turn around? Hmm? Because this is the closest that you can get to that, uh, bottom on the minimap, right? Like the... Yeah. Can you, like, double jump onto that? No. Unintentionally? Or, no? No. Mm hmm. Because I don't see any way for you to actually get up there. Me neither. 
I'm going to leave. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just a bad cell or something. Maybe it's a bad generation. Yeah. And it didn't actually generate with a solution. Just like cell. I have so little health. I have so little health. No, you get like 25% of your health. That's like a quarter. Less. Oh my god! Wow. What the fuck, man? That was a... Actually, that was a net gain. You got more... I was just thinking that. You got more out of that than you've had in a while. I don't even know what happened. I just looked away for a moment, maybe. That's all it fucking takes. Oh, I'm so glad that OBS isn't capturing my Steam overlay that shouldn't be displaying right now. That's nice. Yeah, uh, I will. Yeah, it doesn't even locally, which is nice. It straight up just captures the window, which I like. Sonic Force Pad. I have so many Sonic games that we can play. You have no idea. We gotta fucking play Sonic Riders. Oh, I don't wanna play Sonic Riders. Too fucking bad. Sonic Riders has such a, like, weirdly intense story that goes on for so long. Sonic Man, Riders is one of the, like, I feel like Sonic had this period of five or six games right in a row where I can't really tell the difference between any of them, and none of them are all that important. There was Sonic Heroes, Sonic Riders, Sonic Rush, and then one of those, I think Sonic Riders had a sequel, and then there's Sonic and the Black Knight. And there's Sonic and the Lost World. And then there's Sonic and the Seven Rings? And Dude, like Sonic and the Black Knight is like in the same mental category for me as Sonic Unleashed. Hey, yep, Sonic, Sonic Unleashed is one of those. Although at least Sonic Unleashed had some pretty cool levels in it when you weren't playing as the Werehog. Because nobody wants that. No, nobody wants that. I don't want that. I just want to go fast. I don't want to go slowly. I don't want to go hogly. I must go fast and bullets too slow. Oh my god, I am pulling fucking everything. This is bad. Yeah, it's not great. Come on, give me my laser boomerang. Hey man. Now, if that is not... I don't think truer, wo uh, truer words have ever been spoken. That dude just killed himself. I didn't have anything to do with that. I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on the mental image of having a laser boomerang and how awesome that would be. You're managing it. Somehow. I don't have a lot of health left, but I'm doing it. This is a terrible situation you found yourself in, but, I mean, you're making it work. Oh, boy. Aside from this shotgun, this hasn't been a good run for weapons. You got some health up there. Oh. This dude just running at you full sprint on fire is amazing. Ah, jeez. Always with the shields. You will stop. 
I will not stop. Oh god, no! Die, explode! Oh, come on, come on, you almost got it. Yeah, there we go. Hey, there's some health. It's not a lot, but it's some. Your wave point, your, your, yeah, it seems to be just like directly in the ground. Yeah, that's because I have to call an elevator. Oh my god. How are there still so many of you? They just seem like they're getting stuck on random bits of level geometry, and that's why they're not all rushing you. I will say this also for pretty much anybody and everybody. For the amount of shit that is on the screen and that we've seen, like, it runs pretty smoothly. Yeah, I'm getting a pretty consistent 90 frames per second on the highest settings. That's good. And the game Ooh, looks Paramount great on DNA, top of I it. want that. Are those, uh... Okay. Those are flame pillars. I was gonna say your grenades, are they limited? Uh, yeah, I can only carry five at a time. I see. That's the only thing in this game that has an ammo restriction. Makes sense. So, as you know, I've done some development in Unity. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, you have to try really hard to make that engine run poorly. Oh, I know it. You have to be, you have to be a complete idiot to I have... fuck that up. I have played enough of these games. Not these games, but I have played enough games in Unity and enough, like, weirdo experiments in Unity to know that, generally speaking, like, a potato rig can run almost anything. Mm-hmm. Except... One of these days, I'm going to have to explain to you, like, the full extent of what I had to do to Unity to get it to run poorly. I'm interested. It was a lot. Oh, fuck. Tell you what. We'll do, um... We'll do, we'll do a side-by-side -side stream, right? Where you explain to me how you had that happen. And at the same time, uh, we'll just film, like, 1080p 60 footage of me slowly destroying a computer with a hammer. And I'll be explaining That's how I do that. That's definitely a germ a bit. That's how you get the views. I pretend you so. Um, you you remember Elliot, my friend Elliot? Mm-hmm. He at one point had uh, an Xbox 360 that got a red ring, right? Uh huh. So upon ordering a second Xbox 360, he could have brought his first one in to be like sold or repaired or just recycled or whatever that's not what he did in the early days of youtube he just took a video of him taking like a ball peen hammer to his xbox 360 on the side of the street and that, that was probably would have got him more money in ad revenue than turning the thing in yeah i mean that was the end of the conversation that was the beginning and end of the conversation How are there still so many of these guys? Jesus fuck. Is there maybe some kind of enemy generator? I don't think so. Unless they just spawn and that's what they do. <coughs> Cause I've been over there and I killed everything. Can you make a rush for the elevator? I am doing that right now. Fuck this level. Okay, yeah, so you just had to just had to make a run for it, I guess. Usually enemies are finite, and I got a little caught up in the conversation. I don't know how. <laughs> what can I say? I get an opportunity to talk about breaking shit, and I clap. That's fine. I understand that. I support it. I knew you would. You have my full support with that. I 
I didn't get to see that Paramount DNA I picked up earlier. I hope it has reload speed on it. I hope you get exactly what you're looking for. I mean, I won't, but I hope I can get close enough. All I want is world peace. All I wanted was a mega slush. But you wouldn't let me have one. Would you? I'm getting hurt on the fucking elevator by these disco balls. Ben. Okay, now we've just entered into like a beat em up stage. Oh yeah, this is like a full scale war that's going on right now. I like this guy. Whatever this disco ball is, I like him. Apparently he's full of the souls of the damned or something. I believe it. I have no basis for that belief, but I believe it. Sure you do, I just told you. That's all it takes. You just need to have faith. A little bit of faith. A little bit of faith and a whole lot of elbow grease. It just gets you a long way. Oh yeah, get a load of this guy. He's just spinning goo! That kind of looks like something out of Mass Effect. Hmm. I know I've praised it before, but I really like the sound design in this game. Just the pickup noise is super satisfying. It is. <clears throat> it reminds me think... of something. <clears throat> hmm. Me too, now that you mention it. I can't quite place it, but every time I hear it... Something in Half-Life, maybe. Maybe. I gotta say, yeah, something about, like, maybe the color palette of this level reminds me, in general, of Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2, specifically. Like, the orange LEDs and the harsh, like, dark metal. That all, it all reminds me very much of Cerberus. Hmm. Yeah, and that, that whole background there reminds me a lot of, um, not the Citadel, uh, Omega. Man, I can't wait for you to get to that stuff. Yeah, that sounds like it'll be cool, except for, I don't need to finish that sentence. Omega is just, like, CD nightclub as a planet. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. <clears throat> it's a hell of a tone setter, I'll tell you what. One thing I will say is that I appreciate this premise of we don't have a boss yet, so here, fight this fucking gauntlet. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Better than putting in, like, a badly designed, unfinished boss. Mm-hmm. Look at that thing! That's just the Omni-Droid from The Incredibles! What is that? Or, I've never seen this before! Doc Ock, 300 maybe. luck! Yeah, hmm. I'll take that. I have maxed out luck now. Great. Yeah, maybe I'll get some better weapons now. Oh my god, are you telling me this was a surface you could walk on the whole time? Oh yeah! I didn't realize that the first time either. I thought it was like the skybox or some shit. Nope. Just the door opening up and the disco ball just standing there. 
That's really funny to me. What the hell is that? I hope I live long enough to find out. You got this. Actually, the other thing that this reminds me of a lot is Evangelion. Hive Nectar. Plus 300 resistance, minus 100 speed. Yeah, it's a big thing of jello. Yeah, no, don't want it. Rather- FUCK! Yeah, no, I'm going back to this. I pressed the wrong button! What happened? <clears throat> I pressed the wrong button and recycled my good item. Oh. Oh good, another one of these things. Horrible crab monster. The fucking maw. Look at this mystic hero's bullshit. Oh, it's dead. Man. Mystic Heroes. Yeah, no, that one's for me and for no one else. Yeah, no, that's a fucking poll. I don't think anybody aside from me has ever played Mystic Heroes. And I didn't play it for very long because it was bad. Here's a PSA for anybody out there. Don't play Mystic Heroes. It sounds like a mobile game. It, uh, it was a GameCube era game that was, like, a bad Dynasty Warriors clone. And this is coming from a generation where Dynasty Warriors was just bad. It was a bad attempt to clone a bad game. Now that's an indictment if ever I heard one. It was also extremely difficult. Maybe this was because I was a small child. But maybe it was because Perhaps. it was bad. Or maybe both. both. Yeah. God, that took forever. You did it, though. So, hey, welcome to the final level. Yeah, I've been getting that kind of, uh, that kind of vibe. Or I guess I should say the final part of the final level. The very definitely final dungeon. Until the game gets finished. Yes. I might die. Just gonna put that out there. Well, I hope you don't. Nah, you're doing fine. Oh, silly me. I thought for a moment those would be canisters for you to get more health. Turns out they were just flamethrowers. Good thing I'm on the controls. Yeah. I say as I run headlong into the flamethrowers. Eh, it's fine. Hey, this area seems to like its fire. Yeah, there's a lot of flame turrets, more than I remember. Come on, man. This ain't funny anymore. Give me some health. <clears throat> Burning. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, speaking of, that is a kill field. That will probably kill me. Mm. Oh. Oh, now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Good job. Good job, Raiden. Oh, I see what's happening here. This is a puzzle I haven't done before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Captain, there appear to be some kind of buttons on the floor. Maybe if we push them, the kill field will stop. Oh, 
Oh, it's a Zelda puzzle. Okay. And here I thought I'd seen them all. The one thing I know for sure <laughs> is that I know nothing for sure. There will always be more beam puzzles. This one might be the easiest. Oh, come on. This thing has a bad habit of flying off in the wrong direction. Oh, I was really hoping those robots would just die instantaneously on hitting the beam. But they're not robots, are they? They're more bugs. They're robugs. They're goo bugs. Yeah. You got health up there. Uh, where? Oh yeah, look at that. That's something. Yeah. <clears throat> There's very little, but I mean, it exists. Uh, let's drop this. Do this. Do that. Intent. I'm watching this quietly like it's a golf match. This doesn't need to be here. This just exists to waste my time. Yeah. You might call it padding. Maybe a bit. It's one final challenge. Oh man. I'm serious. That door should have just brained that robot. Would that we were so lucky. I gotta tell you, man, this spike arm is putting the work in. I believe it. You should be able to get, like, a mod on your dude that allows you to pick up things like the door with telekinesis. Oh man, that would cause so many problems. I can just tell. Ooh, what? I activated this at some point. I Probably mean... when I destroyed those two transmitters. Man, this whole place looks like a big subwoofer. You say that like it's a bad thing. I don't. Really? I go through all this shit and this is what you have for me? That <laughs> thing that you didn't like the first time you saw it. That's right. Never heard that sound before. But also, I'm pretty sure that's not a real sound. Oh? That was the result of several sounds glitching together, is what I think that... I'm going to come out of this little micro dungeon into a kill field and it's going to kill me. Watch it happen. Oh my god. Man. All I got to say is there's a lot of goo bugs in here. Oh. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run this way. And so our intrepid explorer runs away, and then runs back. You're doing it, I mean... This seems like a bit... This reminds me of several levels in Just Cause, where you would jump up onto an airfield and there would just be 40 dudes with guns. And you would just get shot and die, pretty much. There's some DNA up there. I want it. If the game worked properly, you would get shot and it would die. But um, what would actually happen is uh, you would have like a memory leak issue because Square Enix is bad at that. And then your game would crash. Hey, I got it. And then you would refund it on Steam twice. Ooh, not once, but twice. That's right. Key card. That might be the only game that I've ever 
I think that might be the only game that I've ever uh, returned twice. Oh, oh, this sucks! This really sucks! Oh no. I didn't need more of these. Really didn't need more of these. It's an intense situation, but you're making the best of it. Oh, when did I pick up the fall damage heals thing? I don't remember picking that up. That's awesome. That should just be a standard feature in every game. I don't think I've ever actually seen that, ever. Yeah, me either, come to think of it. I like that a lot. I could see a whole game around, like, rooftop hopping like you're Batman or something, and then you backflip off of a building and land, like, 40 streets below and get a health bonus because they were like, dude, that was awesome. Well done. These laser barricades reflect bullets, so I had to f Oh my god, more turrets. I had to find a way to shoot them without shooting myself. I know it. This whole thing, like I said, it's just one more challenge. It's a lot. It's a lot! It is. It's this is, like, almost as bad as the gauntlet I went through to get here. Just toss everything in there. Just toss it all in. Why am I still on fire? Stop. Electricity good. Fire bad. Fire indeed hot. Come on! Can I get a break? Fire bed. Tree pretty. Come on, give me some health. It's not a lot, but I'll take it. Yeah, okay. Nice. In the home stretch here. If I ever want to type of these enemies that, like, rush at you, Berserker style, if they hit a wall, they should take damage. Agreed. Oh! Oh my god, this is so much. It's a lot. Okay, what do I get? It's another turret! I'll take it. It's the laser engine. Yeah, it's uh, what they're making the new Banjo-Kazooie on, right? Rare is developing the latest entry into the Banjo-Kazooie saga on a laser minigun? Chain gun? I'd buy that game. With the amount of power that thing outputs, you could probably make a pretty decent game. You could probably run a modern game on that for about 30 seconds. You might have to worry about storage capacity, though. Yeah. The next Not Banjo a lot of storage capacity in these lasers. The next Banjo-Kazooie is going to come out and be like 500 gigs. And then you have to download an additional 600 gig patch day one. Yep. You'd be like, why does Banjo have to have this many gigs? It's like, well, it's all textures. It's all textures. We had to get the ruffles right. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, oh, no. back to oh, solving oh. this puzzle, I guess. Jesus. Fuck. 
Yeah, activate flux mode. Oh, come on, man. Uh, what do I do here? I said this would be the easiest one. <clears throat> well, it was. Wait. I'm actually super smart. Come on, baby. Big money, big money, big money. Yeah, come on, big money, no whammy. Yeah, that does it. Now get out of my way. That's the ticket. Get the fuck out of my way. I've been through a lot. And I cannot believe that I won. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is what a hero looks like. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am not that good. Mm. I'm good at the game, but I'm not that good. I shouldn't have won. This is what a hero looks like. Heroes are never good at anything, alright? The best heroes are always chaotic dumbasses like Link. They're always, like, really bad at most things, but their pluckiness and determination gets them through. If you're, like, unskilled in general, but you have chutzpah, you're pretty much... you're good to go. Get there. Speaking of Mass Effect, it sure is a long-ass elevator. End of the line! You will be terminated after exiting this window. Make your way back in the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, to find your beacon. face off against the ultimate bosses of each faction and find your beacon. Aren't we all just looking for our beacon at the end of the day? So, yeah. Blair. Oh, fuck yes. Give me that. Okay. No Congratulations. Question. That was a lot of bullshit. It was a lot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot. It was so much. It was fun to watch. I'm glad. But it was a lot. <laughs> I'm glad that someone enjoyed it. Because it was a lot. That was probably... Maybe the most stressful run I've ever had in that game. I could believe it. What'd you get? Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Looks like at the moment you have no longer maximum luck. Well, because my luck ate shit after I lost the clover. I would say none of that was what I would consider lucky. No. And it's because I lost the clover, I bet. Probably. Almost certainly it's because I lost the clover. And what are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to modify my fucking DNA is what I'm going to do. All right, let's get some body horror up in here. You fucking know it. What horrible thing are we going to read next? Let's see. This modification has made you into an orphan, and also you smell. <laughs> let's... Let's 2x all stats on this. Can't go wrong with that. Let's plus one mutation on the bone spike, because I like that a lot. Yeah, mutate the bone spike, come on. What are the Palio Roots doing for me? They're shit. I'm going to remove that mutation. Is what I'm going to do. And that... That'll do. Oh, I could get two max grenades if I... You know what? I don't care too much for this. Grenades so. are always helpful, I have noticed. Live explosives I tend to enjoy. Plus 50% critical damage for Solace. Hey, that then, was a Star Trek noise. Yeah, I know the one. I could 2x all stats. I could invert all stats. I'm going to invert all stats. 
Okay, let's see what we get. Big money, big money. Come on. This is my favorite part of the game, no joke. Mice. Wonder what that does. Mice. This sound is a little on the ear piercing side. It's just slightly too loud. I don't care for it. The sound itself doesn't bother me, it's just loud. It should be different variations of the same thing. Like, it should be different notes being played so that it plays a little loop when it goes in a sequence. Yeah, that would be good. And it goes on for quite a bit. Pyro SMG. Huh. Hmm. All right. Let's see what I get. Sequencing genome. Impenetrable carapace. Mutation detected. Your back goes through a severe transformation, secreting a large amount of chitinous goo that hardens into a durable outer shell. When attacked, the newly formed carapace shrugs off nearly all incoming harm. Well, that's Ignore not too damage bad. from back. Plus 40 health, minus 80 critical hit. Now, you're not not taking damage, you're just ignoring the damage. You're not letting it get to you. You feel the pain, but you don't let it deter you. Okay, so Paramount isn't a guaranteed mutation. Now I know. Hmm. I never explained that to you. I could keep going. I don't know that it would be all that engaging, but I could totally keep going. Well, let's see. It's about... Uh... Ch -ch -ch. We've been running for an hour 48, so we could keep going, or we could switch to a different one if you wanted to do something different as well. Well, what do you think? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. It's like... That's a bit much. It's like somebody took like a model for a Dragon Ball Z character and just sort of mushed the model into your back. And the only thing you see is the hair. Yeah. Like they mushed the models together in Gmod. Mm-hmm. Alternatively, it's Blanca. Yeah? How come I can't do Blanca balls? You probably can. Maybe just not yet. Maybe just not yet. You make a good point. Actually, I think I did get a mutation at one point that makes rolling into enemies damage them. Fair. I don't fully remember, but maybe. And what's more is this thing doesn't slow me down. Of all the mutations to slow you down, this isn't one of them. <laughs> 